The snow is coming down here at Greg's garage today. It was 85 degrees last Friday, and the times, they are a-changing, baby. We got snow. We got the welding shop set up out here in the uh, front half of the garage with the car in the back so we don't burn anything. Today we're working on the heating supply system for the car as well as insulating and carpeting the interior. Check it out. For the insulation in the car we're using this stuff right here. It's Frost King duct insulation. It's self-adhesive foil. It comes 12 inches tall, 15 foot long. It's an eighth of an inch thick. There's the roll right there. You'll find this at Lowe's. I don't think anybody else carries it but Lowe's. It's a great alternative to Dynamat. I have <clears throat> vacuumed and cleaned. You can see it's still kind of wet. The area back there, the old package tray in the back of the car. So uh, yeah, there's the steering wheel. We're looking at the back of the car. I uh, just sort of cleaned it out, got all the dust off of it, all the sand and so forth. So uh, yeah, we're pretty clean. Oh yeah. You want to talk about dumb luck, uh, this is it right here. Uh, that's actually the edge of the 12 inch roll and uh, I think maybe we have a little eighth inch overhang uh, just right from here to here. Otherwise it actually just fit perfect against this edge. This is where uh, if it had a back seat that's where the seat would go. But in 74, they didn't have back seats. They just had a box here because they didn't put seat belts in. And so uh, whatever rules those are, the DOT rules, said you can't make this a back seat. So this is actually a two-seater car. And uh, we may put a back seat in here someday. It's not going to have one right now. But, uh, yeah, so this just kind of gets trimmed out. You know, you kind of let something go underneath your carpet and kind of hang down here. But, yeah, dumb luck. Got to love it. Uh, so we're looking good back here. I got to fill in the blanks back there but I can already tell this car is getting quieter just uh, sitting in here talking it's quieter it's pretty amazing oh man while working on the old carpet set there the old punch list is coming into the head and there was a few pieces I've really been putting off because I haven't wanted to deal with them uh, partially because I it's not something I forgot but it was something I put off and I put it put it off too long and now I'm kind of scared of it I guess I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but I uh, don't really want to face the music. That's this stuff here. These are the heater ducts that go from the engine, uh, where my pinky is there, that's where the engine connects to. The, uh, what I want to say, the fresh air goes through the heat exchanger, you know, all done by the uh, doghouse fan, so that's what propels it. goes through there and it splits into a Y and one of them feeds the back seat which is this one here with the whisker hanging out of it that feeds uh, sort of the behind basically blows on the butt of the driver and the passenger on either side and then the big one there uh, with the holes in it actually flows into the rocker panel and uh, out the footwell duct and then up on the dashboard so this piece used to be connected up there but you know as rusty as it was when I took it out uh, the weak point was all the holes up there and it just kind of crumbled like uh, shredded wheat or something so I've got that and I need to repair it and I just pulled this out of the old bin there it was flat when I started and I thought I better turn on the camera and uh, this is from Andrea's grandfather it was in his toolbox and uh, I acquired some of his tools and things and this was one of the things and when I saw it I thought you gotta be kidding me. Uh, you know, that's 
that's almost identical to what we got going here. I just just put a magnet on it and it is non-magnetic so it's obviously stainless. I don't know what kind of stainless but uh, hopefully it's the kind I can weld. So I'm going to bend it up, make the same oval shape as that is and then try and weld a bridge between that piece and that piece uh, and then I have to do, let's go over here, the same exact thing to the other side. It, it kind of had the same problem. So uh, I've got this and this piece over here and I got to get them cleaned up uh, and then we'll do the same thing on that side. Also in the lower footwell, let's see if we can see it. Oh son of a bitch, I just scratched my paint. You got to be kidding me. Well, not a surprise. All right. In the uh, am I just careless or is it just bad luck? I don't know. Maybe I'm just too careless. I get in a hurry. There's a hole right there. And that hole gets one of these. So this is a little pipe. And that takes air from the footwell there. You can see it on the other side. There's the outlet right there where my middle finger is. And then the hole is there. It takes air up and connects into our, uh, our vents here in the dashboard. I don't know if you can see those. We got so much dust on the car. Our vents in the dashboard. So there's a little controller down there that controls whether you're putting air at the feet or if you're putting it on the dash. So anyway, uh, we've got to repair those. Well, this is the original flange. I saved off the dog leg and I have the other one somewhere, but I sure as heck can't find either one of them. So uh, I made my own. This is a plug I made right here for a hole that some previous owner drilled. Uh, let's see, can you see all the holes? There's one there, there's one there, 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 there. Well, there's one right above the tunnel there. I'm trying to get the light on it. Right above the tunnel, right where my finger is, I think. Right where my finger is. That hole should not be there. All the rest of them should. And, uh, yeah. So I had to make a plug for that. So that's that. I was getting ready to install the soundproofing there and I thought well I can see all the way through the car there that that can't be right if it rains or something it's gonna come right in on the back side of the carpet well, I started doing some research that hole doesn't belong there where all the well, rest of them do so I'm gonna silicone that in place and then these guys here I made uh, two of my own so they're sitting right here they don't look uh, terribly pretty but uh, I couldn't get it to cone so I kind of pinched it right there and uh, I'm just spray painting them now. I'm going to silicone those in place too. They don't ever really get any abuse. Uh, they just have to kind of sit there and be a connector for that hose. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today along with the carpet. And here's our piece patched and welded up right there. I think that's going to work just fine for us. We're going to do the uh, test fit, make sure it works, and then uh, get it all welded in. The carpet install didn't happen today, but I'll show you what did. Anybody feel like going to Chipotle? <laughs> oh yeah, I got her all insulated there, so uh, feel pretty good about that. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can swing our light around here. Yeah, look at the back there. We got it all decked out. We got underneath the thing. We got in the wheel wells. Yeah, the last thing I have to do is the doors there. And uh, hell, I may do them yet tonight, but that's, uh, that's all the progress I made on that. Let's step over into the uh, welding shop here. And there's how our two little Y guys came out. So hopefully I can remember which one is passenger, which one is driver. I know which one they are. That's, that's driver over there with the insulation. So I'm gonna have to wrap some insulation around those holes. The holes are so the engine noise doesn't transfer to the cabin. And then they put insulation around them so that it would get absorbed. I don't know if that actually works or not. I'm sure the Germans did all kinds of experiments to say that yes it does, but uh, anyway, I'm just going to wrap some of my duct insulation around them if, uh, if the engine noise comes through, ain't no big thing. Uh, so that's what we'll go with, and uh, I think uh, tomorrow we will weld those in, and that'll be the first thing I do. I actually had to take the body bolts loose uh, and actually jack up the body to get those, uh, well not actually those to fit, there's a little plastic piece, oh man you can just see it poking out there, sorry, 
I don't have it, but there's a little plastic piece that actually comes in from the back side. It's above the frame. The only way to get it in there is to jack the body up off of the frame. So I had to loosen everything up. Thought I was done with that forever, uh, but was not. So that's it for today. Hopefully we'll get those welded in tomorrow. Get the carpet installed tomorrow. That will be sweet as all get out. Don't let you move, folks.